In this video, I wanna show you two things. I have sabotaged my machine and set it so that my needle is not in the center of my hopping foot. And the problem is not the needle bar. The needle bar is set properly in the hole of the needle plate. So you don't want to rotate your head the way we do when we change our foot. What you want to do is change the hopping foot bar. So I'm going to show you how to do this. You may do this same thing to change the height of the hopping foot. You can change the rotation and the height of the hopping foot this same way. And I'm going to show you how to do both. Now first you need to take off this plate on the front that has the monitor. And I've already loosened my screws, but you can see you can just loosen them and then slide that off. Now you can see right here there is an Allen screw that is holding the hopping foot uh, bar. And that is tight right now. When it comes from the factory, it's super tight. And most of us have Allen wrenches like this. And when you try to put it in this way, it doesn't reach. And when you try to put it in this way, you're probably not strong enough to get any torque on that to um, loosen that screw. Sometimes you can use something like a, a pen and it will give you a little bit more to hang on to. So, oh, I guess I should go lefty-loosey, right? And, and so you can loosen it that way. It'll, it'll give you a little bit more leverage. Um, and sometimes a pen won't work. It wouldn't work for me. And so I dug out a better tool. This is a better tool. And I should mention, this is a three millimeter. Um, so these ones with the T handle give you a lot to hang on to. So it makes it easy to loosen that. Now, when it's loose, I need to loosen it a little more. I can pull this shaft up and down, and I can turn it to the right and left. So it can go in any which way. And sometimes this gets, um, it, it will slip in there if you got caught in batting on the edge of your quilt and it grabbed hold of your foot. It could jerk your foot loose, and that is how you could get your foot off center from your needle. What you need to do to center this is just move it back so that it's in the centered position. But since we've been moving it around, it's likely that it's not at the right um, height as well. So I'm at the lowest point of the hopping foot stroke. And at that lowest point, I want to slide in a dime and set my foot so that it is touching that dime. So I'm on it. You can wiggle it till it's just right. So you can slip that in, and that would be setting it at a dime. Sometimes you may be advised to set it at a nickel. You can see that won't slip under now. I can lift that up and set it as a nickel. Now, I think this is a setting that, that you may want to um, change at, at certain times, if you quilt on leather or denim or something heavier, or you're using double poly 12 ounce bat, you're gonna have to set this a little bit higher, um, like the nickel. But here in, in our shop, we typically sew on pretty thin batting, and so uh, we like it to be set at a nickel. Think of this like your presser foot on your domestic machine. If it's not pinching the fabric when that needle goes up and down, you will not form a nice stitch. So this is a really important um, setting that you need to keep your eye out for. If it's too high, you may have shredded thread and you may have skipped stitches when it's not timing that's the problem. So once you have that set to the right height, which I do right now, I'm going to go back in here and I'm going to tighten that up and I'm going to get it pretty tight. Um, it came really tight from the factory and I don't want this to slip if I get caught in batting and when you think about the sewing process that foot is hitting against the, the fabric uh, millions of times and that constant 
hitting pressure is slowly moving it uh, up uh, as you stitch. So this is something that you need to keep your eye on and probably lower that to the correct point periodically. And if you um, just keep an eye on it, you'll always have better stitches. Then when you have it all tightened up, uh, you'll see now, I'm going to get in a little closer again. Now you can see that my hopping foot is centered, hopefully, nicely um, around my needle. That way when I'm using a, an acrylic ruler, when I use it on this side, I'll be quarter inch away, and when I use it on this side, I'll be quarter inch away. Front, back, I'll always get that quarter inch. That's when you'll notice if your needle is not centered in your hopping foot. And actually, it's not a needle problem, it's a hopping foot problem. So I should say, that's when you'll notice that your hopping foot isn't centered around your needle. It's the hopping foot that needs to move, not the needle bar.